We do begin with that bizarre and terrifying drama that unfolded today. A father and well-known lawmaker stabbed a number of times, rushed to the hospital, doctors racing to save his life. Creed Deeds, just 55 years old, a Democrat from Virginia, who has stood shoulder to shoulder with presidents past and present. Tonight, who would target him? Sadly, it turns out investigators aren't looking far beyond the home. Here's ABC's national correspondent, Jim Avila. There were just two people in the House, the high-profile Virginia State Senator Cree Deeds, who in 2009 was a Democratic candidate for governor, and his 24-year-old son, Gus. Authorities believe an early morning fight in this remote Western Virginia mountaintop home left the father and son battling for life. The elder Deeds, 55, was stabbed multiple times in the head and chest. His son, still alive when authorities arrived, had been shot. We are looking into this as an attempted murder and suicide. Still bleeding in his chest and in his head, and his son dying in the house over on the hill there, Senator Deeds walked down that long driveway and then continued down to Highway 42, about 75 yards in all, where by happenstance he was discovered by a cousin on the road who took him to his house where 911 was finally called. The senator was airlifted to University of Virginia Hospital, about 90 miles away, where he's now in fair condition and has spoken to investigators. His son died of his wounds before he could be transferred. Adding to the mystery of what happened here, the senator and his son were described as close. And according to the Richmond Times Dispatch, Gus was a subject of an emergency custody order just yesterday, which compelled him to submit to a mental health evaluation. Doctors wanted to hold him longer, but the Times Dispatch was told there were no beds available in the entire western part of the state. Mental health officials would not confirm that, citing privacy concerns, but said in general, under no circumstances can a person be held beyond six hours involuntarily under an emergency custody order. State police were asked about the report late today. No, state law actually prohibits us from acknowledging any kind of emergency uh, detention order or temporary detention order. The local sheriff told reporters he knew like Gus well. No, no problems at all with Gus. He's a super nice kid. While police don't know or won't say what the motive behind this attack may have been, they have said from the beginning they're looking for no other suspects. David? 